Uh, hello again. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video to show how to uh, bump or adjust the timing on a 2006 Mazda 3. Um, I recently had this car in as of last week. I actually, one of the few things that I wasn't willing to undergo myself was a uh, VVT actuator, timing chain, tensioner, and guide swap. For that, I took it to the dealer. I uh, just didn't have the time to do it or the expertise. I didn't want to buy specialized tools. So I ended up paying $1,500. Um, when I got it back, um, I noticed it wasn't quite as sprightly as it was before. And I suspected that when they did this, they removed the uh, timing pickup. And when they, after they did all that timing chain work, they've re they had returned the, um, the timing to a more mundane setting. So what I'm going to do here today is show you how to, where to go and how to adjust the timing. And it takes only a few minutes uh, to do this. First thing you're going to have to do is put the car up on jack stands like I've done. Uh, remove the under tray. You'll have to come over here, remove the wheel, and remove this piece right here. It goes right in there. The, this is the area where you're going to see it. And it's a little bit hard to see in there. But your timing pickup is right here. There's two 8mm bolts. Uh, you can just use what I used to get to them easily, which is this. It is a uh, ratchet wrench, eight millimeter ratchet wrench. And once you've removed all this and got the car where you needed to go, there's a small bolt right here and one up here, right there. You don't need to remove them, just make them loose. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do just like this. Push it all the way down. I don't know if you can see the difference that made where there's a clean spot underneath there. Um, when it's pushed all the way down, it's advanced to the farthest setting that it can go per the factory. That's all you have to do is push it all the way down. And this will give you about five horsepower. It'll make it a lot more lively. Uh, you might need to use 89 octane or better gasoline, especially in the summertime. But you're going to notice a big difference. You really will. This is something that is easily done and uh, it's something you will notice a difference. I promise you. Um, the reason it was set back to the conventional factory timing is because they did all the timing stuff and I'm sure that in the manual it says uh, return it to the more mundane setting for the, the three. So this is what all I'm doing is you just go in here, loosen these two bolts, um, push it all the way down it's still within the the reading you know the uh, tolerances and the set the specs for the car the ECU will take a little while to adjust once it's adjusted you'll notice a definite difference this is worth about five horsepower and a couple foot pounds of torque um, over the stock setting you'll get better power and better mileage as well you just have to you probably should go uh, with 89 octane uh, it's going to be at going from I think eight degrees of timing up to about ten or so um, So you might get some ping on 87 octane in the winter time You could probably run 87 and get away with it because your intake charge is a lot colder Has a lot more oxygen in it. It's going to be a lot less prone to knock but in the summertime. It's a good idea 89 or better octane and uh or 91, 89 or 91, you probably don't need to put like 92 or 3 premium in there, but you could do a mix of gas. Um, but definitely do that. Once you slide it down, then you just resecure those two bolts and put everything back together and you're done. And I hope this has been helpful. If you like it, give a like to the video, subscribe if you want, and I'll continue to bring out more and more uh, Mazda 3 videos as part of this series. Thanks. Have a good day.